Yeah. You know, here in Columbus, there is an indoor mask mandate in place, but we want to show you some video from the Eric Church concert inside Nationwide Arena Saturday night. It shows a mostly maskless crowd. NBC4's Eric Halperin has been talking to arena leadership and Columbus Public Health about all of this. So, Eric, what are you finding out about this mask mandate? And it wasn't followed, apparently. Colleen and Carrie, that mask mandate has been in place now for about a week and a half. And in that time, Columbus, Poli Columbus Public Health says there have been more than 150 complaints reported to them. As of this afternoon, though, no one had reported any complaints about Nationwide Arena and the concert to Columbus Public Health. A video shared with NBC4 of Eric Church signing autographs inside Nationwide Arena Saturday night shows a mostly maskless crowd looking on. More video as he shakes fans' hands shows a lot of people with their phones out, but not a lot of people wearing masks. And a viewer picture of the crowd zoomed in also shows few masks. The same viewers say they saw very little mask wearing and many even taking their masks off as soon as they walked in. It was Nationwide Arena's first concert in almost 600 days. Just last week, Arena Management announced rules for events, including masks for all guests three and up. The website explains that as well. We reached out to Columbus Arena Sports and Entertainment, which operates the arena. A spokesperson did not address questions about Saturday directly, but says in part of a statement, we follow all local mask mandate guidelines. Public messaging will be increased inside and outside the venue. He goes on to say, we continue to educate the public on the safety and health guidelines in advance and during the event. Doctors often discuss the importance of masks indoors, especially indoor crowded spaces. Columbus has been under an indoor mask mandate since September 10th. Enforcement comes from complaints reported to 311, which go to Columbus Public Health. Noting some duplicates, CPH says they've gotten 179 complaints since the 10th. None for Saturday's concert. But as of an hour, hour and a half ago, we still have not received a complaint about Nationwide uh, Arena in our system. So again, we have to do it. We're only, we're only able to do what we get complaints about. And Columbus Public Health says it sent out 85 notifications letting businesses know a complaint has been brought against them. But Columbus Public Health also says those formal warnings and fines cannot come unless they see the violations in person for themselves. They say they plan on doing those check-ins for places that have gotten complaints in the coming weeks. Live and local for you in Columbus, I'm Eric Halpern, NBC4.